Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Megan. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe below. Today we are doing a year in review of FabFitFun. So I resubscribed to FabFitFun last summer um, and my first box was actually the summer editor's box, but we're gonna still use that in our year in review of FabFitFun. Basically, we're gonna look at each box that I received and see how many of the items I actually used from that box and from that decide, you know, whether a year of that fun is really worth it and look at like the overall use of all of the items and whether it's just junk that I received or products that I really enjoyed. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first box that I received, like I said, was the summer editor's box. And the first item from that box, I actually don't have. So I will put a picture here for you, but um, it is the Nassif MD detox pads. They were like those, they come in like a container and they already have like product on them. And there's, there were 60 pads in the container and I did use all of them. It's not something I'm going to repurchase, but I did enjoy like having that product and being able to use it. And I did feel like it did help my skin just stay a little bit cleaner. Like, especially if like, I didn't feel like washing my face at night, I would just use one of those pads. That is a product that I definitely used. Oh, and I didn't mention, but I am an annual member. So that means that I pay $179 a year for four boxes plus tax. So I do get five customizations with my um, annual membership and that is gonna change this summer. The second item I got in my summer editor's box, and they, these may not be in order, but that's just the order we're gonna be going in today. So this is the Donny ribbed sweater coat. And I do wear it out sometimes, like when I walk my dog, but it is a one size fit all, so it's kind of big, but it's very comfortable. It washes really well. Um, it's a really, the fabric is like very durable and neutral. So like in the summer, like warmer months, this is a key piece of my loungewear. It's not warm enough for the winter for me, um, but it is very comfortable and it has like pockets. These pockets are perfect to put my phone in. So I really, really enjoy this product and I use it a lot. So this is the Exo Sienna letter board and I've really enjoyed having it. I put it in our front area. I've never owned one before, but it, this is like, seems like it's pretty well made. It's felt um, and the letters like just stick on. Uh, I thought I would change it more, but I just haven't. But they came with like a bunch of letters that go with this canvas bag. It was very difficult to punch the letters out, but I think that's just standard. Um, so I do enjoy this product as well. And some of my favorite products from FabFitFun are more of their like home decor items because it's just more fun. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting old. <laughs> the next product was the Gravity Weighted Sleep Mask. So this is like a heavy sleep mask um, and it's like very soft. You can take out the inside and then like wash the outside. There are kind of like, ho not holes, but like the heaviness doesn't go where your eyeballs go. It honestly, I used it a lot when I first got it and I thought that it helped me sleep better, but I don't use it as often anymore, except when I'm like having a hard time sleeping and it definitely does help. And I do enjoy like having this product. Um, the reason I don't use it every day is because it just with the Velcro, like, I don't know, it doesn't always stay on. I'll wake up and it's like somewhere else. So um, that's the only reason I don't use it all the time, but it definitely is a good product and I do enjoy it. The next product I received in the summer editor's box was this. And this product is one that I just started using because I had something that I was already using, but I do like the smell of it. It does seem, oh, sorry. So what it is, this is the Moroccan Gold Series Leave-In Mask. And I kind of have just been using it as kind of like, like I feel like it's like a detangler almost. So after I shower, I'll spray it in my hair and then like brush it out and it smells good and my hair stays soft. So um, I really like this product so far. The other product that I have been using a lot is this makeup eraser. If you aren't familiar with makeup eraser, you're missing out. So this is like the full size one and it just helps you take off your makeup so easily with just water and then you just like rub it on your face and it takes it off very easily. So another product that I definitely use a lot. This is a product that I just finished that I got from the editor's box, but this is a body lotion and um, it's by Humankind. It's called their Body Souffle. Um, it doesn't say the scent, but it was like kind of like a natural scent and 
I thought that it was a very lightweight moisturizer. I really did like it. If I ever see it like in the FabFitFun sales, I would probably pick it up if I was like running low on lotion. So I do enjoy this product as well. So this is a product that I wouldn't say I use a ton, but I do keep it in my work purse in case I wanna use it. So it's called the Winky Lux Rainbow Lip Balm and it comes in like a bullet type case. It says Winky Lux on it. And can you see it has kind of like three different colors on it, but the color it goes on is like a light, light pink color. You can kind of see it on my hand a little bit. Um, and it is very moisturizing. I just haven't used it a ton because I always have my mask on at work. So I have to like take my mask off to put it on and then it'll probably rub off on my mask, but definitely not my favorite product, but I do still kind of use it. So for that box, I got a total of eight items and we're, for the sake of this review, this is gonna be the product I say like, out of the eight, like this is one that I didn't really use a ton on um, the past year. So seven of the eight products for me were wins. I used them or I am using them and I enjoy them. Definitely a win in my book. And that's why I subscribed to the editor's box because I saw the spoilers and I loved the options. And it was a really great box for me to start with last year. For the fall 2020 box, all of the spoilers seemed very, you know, exciting. I don't know about you, but I was like really excited. Everything seemed very fall-like. We were trying to, you know, get out of our quarantine ruts and just stay a little bit more positive. Uh, these are definitely not in the right order, but we're gonna go with this being the first product I received. So this is the um, Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Whipped Polishing Cleansing Cream with Truffle Extract. This is like supposed to be a face wash, I think. Yeah, so this is like a face wash, but it says on the back it should renew dry and dull skin. And I didn't think much of it because I have combination skin and I thought like, oh, it's fine. Like I can use whatever and I'll, like I've never really had a problem with skincare before. But this, I'm pretty sure caused a lot of breakouts and I didn't really realize it until a couple months ago. Um, and I've had this since the fall, but so it's still like probably half full. And the reason I actually just stopped using it is not because I gave in to the fact that it was giving me breakouts, but because um, it actually broke. I don't know how, but like there's a hole in the top now and that hole like that goes into the pump part or whatever, um, it got stuck inside. So you can't get the product out anymore, which was crazy to me. I've never seen that happen before, especially on a product that's supposed to be like a high quality product. So this was a huge disappointment for me, especially once I like realized that it probably was causing breakouts because my skin now I'm using like a different cleanser and it's a lot better. So the second product from this is one that I haven't used a ton, but I do still have hope that I'm going to use it. It's just that the season is changing, so I'm not going to get use out of it until next season. And that is the Beyond Yoga scarf. So it's it was this really big black infinity scarf um, and it's like supposed to be like really comfortable and soft and it has a huge pocket. And what I thought I was gonna use it for was walking my dog and like putting my phone in this massive pocket here and see like how big it is. It's a huge pocket, but I never ended up doing it because in the winter you have a coat and your coat has pockets. Um, so I didn't really need it, but I do think that it's still going to be a product that I'll use in the future because it's a basic black scarf and it's warm. Um, so I think that I will still use this product and I'm still excited that I got it. The third product from the fall 2020 box that I'm going to show you is this. So I have this plant from Amazon in it, but this is the Mia Melange foldable, foldable cotton basket. Um, and it's like a pretty small sized basket. It can be used. <laughs> I don't know why I never took the tag off, but at this point I'm just leaving it on. But um, it's like a very versatile piece for storage or decoration. And I have used it for like various like storage and decoration since the fall in my house. And right now I really like having this fake plant in it um, over by this wall over here. Um, so I really do like this product and I'm glad that I got it. I have a basket problem. I have baskets everywhere. Don't worry about it. 
the next product is another product I was actually really excited about, but I um, was disappointed in the what I received. So these are the Nectar blue light blocking glasses. And I have a pair of blue light blo blocking glasses at work that um, I got from Amazon for like $13 or something. And they're pretty comfortable. I am like skeptical on the whole blue light thing, but I do like use them when my eyes are hurting sometimes and it seems to help. So I thought these ones were really cute and I was like, oh, okay, it's like a brand name, blue light glasses. They'll be like better quality. I'll have a pair at home and a pair at work so that when I'm like doing stuff at home too, it will help, especially as like teleworking increased last year. These are so uncomfortable. I don't know like why these are just so terrible, but the plastic is like so cheap feeling. I have glasses. I've had glasses since I was like... 10 I don't know and these are I've never had glasses this cheap they are so terrible even the ones I got from Amazon are not this uncomfortable I just I want to wear them I still have them but every time I put them on and I have them on for like an hour my ears just hurt so badly um, so that was a really big disappointment for me because I was excited to have this product but I guess now I know Nectar is not really that great of a brand so the next product in this fall box was the NCLA cuticle oil. And as you can see, I haven't used a ton of it, but I have used some. I do use it like when my cuticles are really dry to help like rejuvenate them. It's definitely a very fall scent. So I would have preferred probably having something a little bit more versatile because it does smell good. It's like vanilla. I think it's horchata is the smell. It's definitely like a more winter fall smell and I feel kind of weird using it now Although I still will because like getting another one just because of the scent seems stupid to me I still like it. It's a good formula it has like vitamin E in it This is still gonna be like a plot like a good product for me So the next product in the fall box was a FabFitFun pick that I like why? I don't know It's the Laundress crease release in the classic scent, I think. I haven't used like any of it. I use it a couple times, like if my clothes have been in the closet for a really long time and they need to like smell normal, but <laughs> that's about it. So the next one I got, which I did, I was excited about this. It's not my favorite scent because it was fall. Everyone wanted the pumpkin spice one, but of course I got the Sintal Noir. Um, it is the Daniel Stone Perfume Room Spray. And it has this really beautiful bottle with like gold cap and then the sprayer is also gold i like the smell of it um it's nice to use if you don't want to like burn a candle or you just want to like quickly like make a room smell a little bit better that is a product that i am still excited to have i haven't used a ton of it but i also like don't burn through candles super quickly either so that's just pretty normal for me the next product i will put a picture of here i gave it away it was the Glow Recipe Highlight, and I've talked about this before, but I'm not a huge makeup person, and a highlight is definitely the last thing I'm thinking about when I am putting makeup on, so I it was like a liquid highlighter. It was a cute package. It was like super, super cute, um, but I gave it away. So for the fall box, for me, it was kind of a bust. I liked the foldable basket, the blanket scarf, the cuticle oil, and the candle spray out of the eight items I got. So that's four out of eight items that I liked, which isn't terrible, but you know, you want to like all of the items. So the winter 2020 box was another amazing box. And I just feel like winter boxes are always great, but this is the first item I got. And oh my goodness, if you don't have an unhide, you need to get one. And FabFitFun always has them on sale um, in like edit sales and their shop. This is the Silver Fox or something I think was the color. And it's like really, really soft. One side is like more like a microfiber and then one is like a faux fur. And it's just so soft. My dog loves it. If I like, when it was like winter time, if I got on the couch with it, she would just immediately try and get on the entire blanket before I could even like cover myself with it. <laughs> so that's a product that is fantastic. I bought two more in one of the sales 
for like $15 each, which is amazing because it's like a $65 blanket. So in the second category for winter, I actually added a product on. So I did that in two of my boxes. So those products are not going to count towards my like overall, but I'm still going to um, talk about them. So this is the one that I paid $15 for to add on. It's the Alginist eye renewal balm and I do like this a lot. For me, the $15 paid for this was totally worth it. It's a much higher value product and I haven't used a ton of it, but you don't use like a ton of eye cream, I feel like. I try to use it at night. I don't always remember, but I do feel like when I use it consistently, it does make a difference with the bags under my eyes. The next product that I got in that category, which I did like I chose it so I didn't pay extra for it. I have used so much of it, as you can see. <laughs> so I use this after I shower. Usually I use it under my moisturizer. It's the Murad Rapid Collagen Infusion. I don't think that I'm gonna repurchase it unless it's like in another box, because I did like it, but it's pretty expensive. I definitely did like this a lot. So a plus for me, and one of my favorite things to do, I don't know about you, is when I finish a product and look how close I am, like this much left. I don't know why that gives me like such satisfaction, but it's so great. So the next product is one that I use about once a week. This is the Dr. Brandt Pore Derm Abrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. I've had a Dr. Brandt product before that I got in a really old FabFitFun box like years ago, but this is a great product. It's a good exfoliator. I don't need to exfoliate that often. So I, like I said, I use it like once a week and yeah, I really like it. So the next product I'm gonna put a picture of here because it's in my shower, um, but it is one of my favorite products. It is the Vor Hair Care like hair mask and scalp detoxifier. I really feel like that product makes a huge difference. It like makes your scalp feel so clean and your hair so soft, but not in like an overly like silicone-y way, you know? So I really, really enjoy that product and I try to use it about once a week. Sometimes I forget, but it is so great and it smells so good. That is a product that I am definitely going to repurchase. I have been looking for it in the fact that fun sales and I never see it, but like if I can't find it, I'm going to pay full price for it. I think it's like $30, which isn't so bad and it's lasted me a couple months already. So the next product I also don't have because I finished it. Uh, it is the Butanique like eye gels that we received and they were one like super cute. I think it came in a, like a four pack and they were like angel eye or like angel like wings to like put under your eyes and they were like blue and sparkly and i really really felt like those made a huge difference whenever like afterwards my bags were like way less noticeable and i really enjoyed them so that's another product i do want to repurchase but it's kind of pricey i think it's like 25 dollars for a five pack and I don't really want to pay that, so I, that's one that I want to repurchase, but I would only repurchase at a discounted price. But yeah, so that's still like a plus product for me. The next product is one that I'm not a huge fan of. It is the Wish Vanilla Bean Lip Scrub. This was a FabFitFun pick. It's just like, I don't know, I'm, I'm not huge on lip exfoliation, and like I accidentally got a little bit in my mouth and it tasted gross. I've kept it like just in case I want to exfoliate my lips, but I just don't expect that I'll ever finish it. Yeah, that was a dud for me. The next product I used one time and I may get more use out of it as like an, a base coat, um, but it's the Cure Get Well Nail Recovery by London Town. And it's just like a clear coat. I didn't feel like it did anything different than like an OPI base coat did. So I'm not really sure like what this nail recovery is, but Definitely one that I'll keep as like a base coat, but not like something I would ever repurchase or like see the necessity for. Um, so I'll insert a picture of the next product. It was the Leopard Print Scrunchies. I can't even remember who they were by, but I have some scrunchies. I don't need more and they just like weren't my style. Like I don't really do animal prints. Um, it just doesn't, it's not my style. They are cute, but I um, gave those away. I am excited for the summer season where annual members are going to be able to customize their entire box, including the FabFitFun picks, so they won't be FabFitFun picks anymore. I don't think it's going to be the exact same as like the other customizations, but there's like a level of customization. So out of my winter box, I liked five of the eight products, um, plus 
the ninth product that I paid for, which won't count towards my overall year in review since I paid for that product because I knew it was worth it to me. So for spring 2021, I got the, this box only a couple months ago and I use products pretty slowly. So take that into account. But one of the products I received was the Short Stories Planter. That's my That was my first choice for the first category. And I'm just going to put a picture here. It's in my kitchen, but like, I don't know. I think I'm just, I have a, like the brownest thumb in the world. I could not get the basil to grow. I don't know, like nothing sprouted. I don't know, like maybe the seeds were bad. We were thinking about trying like seeds from the store locally. We like watered it every morning. I have no clue why we couldn't grow the basil. Um, but it was like a fun thing to be able to try. I liked that it was so compact. I just need to figure out how to actually grow plants. That is why I have a fake plant here from Amazon. So yeah, if you have any tips for like growing herbs indoors, let me know. If you were successful with your short stories planter, like what did you do differently? Because I don't understand what I did wrong. <laughs> yeah, so that's gonna be just because I wasn't able to like use it properly. Unless I like figure it out in the future, that's gonna be like a no for me on the this category. <laughs> Cause it's just kind of disappointing. Although it may be my fault. So the next product is one that I paid for. Um, it still has the tag on it only because I haven't found a spot for it yet. I paid $15 for this and it's like, I think it was like a $45 value. This is the Jenny Kane water hyacinth tray and it's so cute. It's so well made. I just need to find the perfect spot for it and I know that I will. So I'm still like super excited about this product and $15 for this is probably like what I would have been willing to pay at like home goods. So I'm not mad at all and I'm so happy that I bought this product. The Gaiam Core Toning Kit. I didn't use this. I haven't used it. I want to use it. My intention is there to use it. So maybe I'll use it. But it came with this ab ball and like balance ball and then this like Pilates type resistance bands. Um, and you know, I think I just need to like put a little bit more effort into figuring out how to use it properly. That's like totally my fault. So it's still a product that I hope I will use. We do have like an at home, like kind of gym area. Um, so I am going to like try to use it. <laughs> you can see my dog loves that blanket. Like I said, so, <sighs> you know, some things just go to your pets. But, um, so I am still excited that I have the Guy Am Core Toning Kit. Hopefully I'll still use it, but like, we'll see. So the next item is one I haven't used yet. I'm going to put a picture of this item here. It is in my bathroom somewhere, but, um, it's the Verso Eye Cream. Like I told you before, I got this eye cream in the winter box and you use eye cream so slow, especially me. So... I should have picked something else like the gloss modern like hair mask or something but i am still excited to use the product i am going to use it once either like this one reaches its 12 months or i use like the whole thing so it's still a product i'm gonna use but i should have waited to get another eye cream until i was like closer to being done with this one the next product i got is the grown alchemist body cream i haven't used a ton of it yet because I just finished the other one I showed you at the beginning of the video, but I do like it. I like the formula and the scent. It's like a little bit, I think citrusy, right? It's a great lotion. It's very moisturizing and I was really excited to try this brand out. So yeah, the next product I chose is one that I haven't used yet, but I know I'm gonna use. It's a little bit cold here still, but once like farmer's markets open up in a little bit in a couple weeks, I know I'm gonna use this um, market tote as like my farmer's market bag to pick up some fruit and stuff. So I'm still really excited about this product and I know I'm gonna get some good use out of it. So this product, what I received in the FabFitFun picks, it's the flower clips from each. I thought they were cute. I was like gonna give them a chance. I'm still gonna keep them, like maybe I'll wear them, but I haven't used them yet. They're like still in the packaging as you can see. So these were like kind of a dud. It's like not really my style. I don't know. Maybe like as we start like going to see friends more right now, maybe I'll like pop out some new outfits and we'll see if I use it, but probably not. 
The next product I received is these like makeup remover pads by Say, I think. And they're very similar to the uh, makeup eraser, but I found that these are a lot easier to remove like my mascara sometimes. So I do like these. They're like kind of have a memory foam inside and they're also machine washable. So yeah, I'm glad to have like another product that I can use to remove makeup that's like a little bit more sustainable. So the last product I received in my FabFitFun Spring 2021 <laughs> box is the Cactus Cup. I don't have it anymore. Um, I'm sure, you know, it's a great product for some people, but this is the reason that I'm excited for being able to pick all of the products in my box this like coming season because that's just not something I needed. For me, it was just like another thing that would clutter my house and I'm trying to not clutter my house. So I'm glad someone could use it. I didn't like want to throw it in the trash, but uh, man, like FabFitFun, what were you thinking? So in my spring 2021 box, I liked five out of the eight items and I felt like I got like good use out of them. So overall, if you look at all the seasons together, not including the two products that I purchased separately um, as like add-ons to the box, I had a total of 32 items and I liked 21 of the 32, which is, it seems low. It seems it's only like 67% like satisfaction of the whole box but if you think about how much you paid for it so as an annual member I paid $180 plus tax that is like what $8.50 plus tax per item that I liked and some of the items were like a very high value items so that's like a great deal and I'm very happy with it when I think about it that way like honestly when you look at it and you're like oh my god I didn't like like half the box for like the fall box. Maybe this isn't something I should continue to pay for. But when you look at it as like a whole year, I realized that like overall it was a benefit to me to being able to try products and also just, you know, have something that's a little bit fun to splurge on. So yeah, I'm really excited for the summer box and being able to customize all of my categories. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you like this type of video. Um, leave a comment below what season was your favorite this past year. And I will see you next time.